Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. How is that? Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm standing at Restaurant Bird Bar waiting for Chef Kim LaLuce. For this episode of Beyond the Plate, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Chef LaLuce is taking us in and around the city collecting beautiful items from all of her restaurants. Then we will put beautiful bags together to deliver to the homeless in and around the city and spread some more. What does it take to be a great chef. It takes a lot of creativity, inspiration, perseverance, dedication. You have to know how to be a good mentor because you have to have patience to teach people what you know in order to get it done the way that you want it to be done or learning from them, depending on the situation. I'm more of a entrepreneur chef than I am a chef chef because I'm not in the kitchen anymore. When did you know that you wanted to be a chef? I come from a big, beautiful Jewish Moroccan family. Actually, my mother's side is French Canadian, also ginormous family. So when you have like a lot of kids in the house, or lots of people means lots of food. Lots of food means lots of cooking, and lots of cooking means you're learning from your grandmother and your aunt. And by having the two, by being exposed to the two different cultures, that was really cool as well, because it was two very different sides of the cooking spectrum, if you will. And so I learned a lot, but uh, I was very much inspired by both of my grandparents on both sides of the family and my parents. They cook amazing. Tell me about all your different restaurants because I know that you don't just have one, you have many. Well, it started off with Miss Prête à Manger, which is a super charming little, uh, at the moment, takeaway venue on Blurry, and it's a catering, so we do loads of catering every day. So next door to Miss Prête à Manger, actually they connect, as you saw, is Monsieur Resto Bar. Uh, it's a little bit more upscale, we're open for lunch and for dinner, and the reason why I opened Monsieur was to accommodate the clientele that was kind of piling up at Miss Prête. Such a nice feeling to have that need to organically expand and luckily the neighbor next door moved out so we moved in and then just a couple blocks away inside of the ultra beautiful um, contemporary arts museum. It's the Restaurant du Mac. What we do there is that every time there's a new exhibit, I curate the menu based on either whatever the artist likes to eat and drink or we connect it with the actual exhibit. So I meet them and ask them, what do you like to drink? What do you like to eat? How would you want the menu to represent you uh, for this um, exposition? And it's really fun, they enjoy it and people who visit the museum enjoy it too. And then here in Griffintown, we're at Bird Bar right now, which is the fried chicken and champagne restaurant. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's really playful. There's a lot of delicious fried foods, but there's also a lot of healthy uh, foods. So it's, again, conscious cooking, and we get to play around with the dishes, and, and, and you can come and sit down and have all different greens and delicious veggies and sides like that, and then just pop a few pieces of fried chicken. Tell me about our adventure today. We uh, passed by all the restaurants uh, today. We picked up a little something from events yesterday. So each one was able to provide us with some granola bars, some crudités and dip, some spicy popcorn. Uh, we did make some fresh fried chicken at Bird Bar because who doesn't love fried chicken? Hopefully we don't come across too many vegetarians. Uh, we got a little bottle of juice. And this weekend I went and picked up some uh, blankets, some socks, some gloves, just a few things to keep people warm later uh, in the season. Um, and we also printed out together a paper with the various shelters in Montreal in case anybody's stuck or they're not familiar with where they can get help. And um, Funville, one of the daycares that we cater to every day, the kids made these really adorable little drawings. They know that we're going to go and hand out bags to people who don't have homes. So they wanted to make a little uh, drawing to brighten up their day. Um, and that they can keep uh, the things that will keep them warm and the items that we give them after eating all the yummies, they'll still have a little takeaway for, uh, for a few days. You know, we're not going to change lives, right? But we're going to definitely brighten up somebody's day today. Kimberly Lalu's. Yes. I want to take this opportunity before I eat every single thing on this table that you have prepared to say thank you because you clearly took me beyond the plate today. You're a humanitarian and I love that we went to all your restaurants collecting all the different things and giving these baskets to the needy and I think that that says everything about who you are. So thank, oh, thank you, you for 
spending the day with me. Thank you for spending the day with me. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> mm. How is that? Is it yummy? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm.